Welcome everyone. I'm Sandy, uh, Lolly and Sand, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in beautiful Canada. I have a treat for you today. Kind of says it in the in the subject line. <laughs> I'm just checking my Facebook while we do this. Um, you're getting a sneak peek from the mini catalog. That's the January to June mini catalog that comes out uh, January the 5th, 2021. I know there's a little bit of glare here too, so I'm going to cover up the glare for now until we can, you know, get going. So, this is so exciting. Now, there is a... I'm going to turn my sound off on my computers just in case it goes bing, bing. That button. That button. Ah, that button, good. Okay, got it. <laughs> I'm new in town, what can I say? Hey, Marcy, welcome. Anyway, I need two hands apparently to fix this. There we go. Looks like everything's in focus. So if you're just joining, say hi, say where you are. Hey, Rosemary. And uh, we'll get going. So first thing I'm going to do is show you some of the products. Um, now, the products are from the Fine Floral Art Suite in the mini. Um, in the, in the demonstrator pre-order for those who went to on stage, we, we couldn't get everything. So I'm going to show you what I do have though, which is pretty awesome. If I do say so myself. <laughs> okay. So, uh, the art gallery bundle is these dies. Let's move the ribbon. These dies here and this stamp set, this is a two step and Quite frankly, this is the easiest two-step I have ever used. I'm going to show you that tonight. Um, you also have then lots of sayings, which are great. I actually, at first I was like, I didn't like the font. And then I'm like, no, I love cl really clear, crisp fonts. And that's what this is. What's really cool are these little postage stamp size. I think, well, we'll just call it that, that fit over these different sizes but there's more. So then there's the longer one. And then this big one that says, just want to say, I miss you. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Good luck. <laughs> All of the above. We also have this, this piece here, by the way, uh, which can be cut with this and the leaf. So it's really artsy looking, which is what you'll, you'll see here with the dark and light already on you. You get an idea of what it's going to look like. Pretty cool. And then you have this that will do the second second stamping. So exciting. Ooh, I know. I know. I'm, I have not. Well, okay. I haven't done anything but play with that. Okay. So those dies were called floral gallery, which makes sense because this is the art gallery. Okay. So let's get that out of the way. Um, you'll be able to see this better in a second. So this is the embossing folder called painted texture. Do I have something? I do. And I'm going to remember the name of it, the silicone mat. There you go. I think that I think that helps. Um, which looks like, like um, if it was um, what is it, oil paint that you know that they would put on, like an artist would put on using a palette knife. This is gorgeous. Love it. So but this is also what we're featuring tonight, as well. Hey Grace. Hey Gail. Let's see if I missed anybody. For some reason, my fingers aren't working well with the, uh, I got it. Yeah, there we go. All right, continue on. Anyway, so we're going to use this. Love. Here's the catalog. I cannot, st I still cannot open it for you. It is what it is, right? Um, soon, soon enough. So here's the paper. So first things first, this is really glary. I don't know if that's a word. Um, and sorry about that. Hey, Janice. So this is called the Golden Garden Designer Series Acetate. Phew, got it out. <laughs> I'm looking for something white to put behind it. I should have. Sorry, all the rattling noises here. Here we go. This is so pretty. So, so pretty. But wait, it's silver on the other side. Oh my gosh. Love it. Love it. And then 
you have this one that is gold and of course silver on the other side so it's from the same set i only pulled a couple like or one sheet of each of these out and check this out this lines up on why are my fingers not working oh that is only one piece duh right here so what a beautiful overlay that is what do you think of that like gorgeous or what i mean the paper itself is gorgeous this is the the artwork for this was actually artwork so it was painted hand painted and then photographed and then made into this paper and it's so pretty so here's one sheet of each of these the colors and the the texture in here makes it feel like it's 3d i have to say this is one of my favorites i love the colors in this this one also whoa and then i'm really digging this one with the gray i feel like it goes this way so i had to turn it i think that's going to make some gorgeous cards you know me and then this one another favorite here all right let's take a quick peek at the back side this is the more artsy side which makes really nice backgrounds and such so here we go i'll go fairly quickly because we've got lots to get through that's really pretty and the fact that they coordinate means like everything to me i really love this one subtle enough to go behind something and then we go bold which is gorgeous the colors in there and then this one too so it's got kind of a bit of a whitewash to it now if you want to see that slower watch the replay <laughs> yes watch the replay okay then hang on there has to be ribbon this is the fine art ribbon so this is gold and i'm going to say it, it feels kind of scratchy it's not scratchy you know but it's got some texture in it and it makes really pretty bows and they're not too bulky which is really nice really really nice i like this i was playing with this earlier too so this end of the ribbon has been well tested really really pretty and that's all i have from that that's that's i think everything we were allowed to order um now this card here we're going to remake this but we're going to do it a little bit different we're going to use different colors so if you remember back about a month ago i had entered a card in kylie bertucci's um international highlights gallery anyway you have to come in the top 10 to be featured and i did so this is the card that appears on my blog today because the the hop is now live and i've used some of that vellum the, the um, flowered one and some other things and this is i think if i do that really slow you can see the texture in that which i love 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 i'm going to put it here because you know me i'm probably going to forget to do something like i don't know put the ribbon on <laughs> it happens all right I'm going, to, I'm going to get the pieces out so I'm going to do two things and I want you to give me your choice. Okay, so I have pear pizzazz, purple posy, and then just plain old white, whisper white, and we're going to stamp. So I chose Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape, and then for the leaves, pear pizzazz. Let's do the leaf because that's really quick. So, man, I have to scroll down a bit. I, you know, I don't want to get distracted, but I do, I do try to look at the comments. The embossing folder is amazing. Okay, so again, pear pizzazz. And so my question to you will be, do you like it this way or this way for the card? But don't answer quite yet. Think about it. I'm going to do the same thing with the flowers. Now, what I found with the flowers is... I do the big one first in the light and then I use the the what do you call it? the detailed one in the darker color I like to put my colors on either side of myself so I don't get mixed up there we go I have not used purple posy nearly enough or not purple Highland Heather nearly enough get her good and inked and there it is on the purple posy, and here it is on the whisper white. 
and I'm actually going to close that. It's such a pretty color combination. I was looking today, because I, I made this in, I don't know, maybe several colors. <laughs> and um, I, I really like this one. Okay, so for lining it up, as mentioned, you can be the artist. You don't, this doesn't have to exactly align. So if you're off a little bit, it really doesn't matter. And that makes you feel like an artist. Isn't that pretty? Alrighty, so I do like to turn it towards myself. I consider that the bottom of the flower. And then, like so. Love and love. So, which flower do you prefer? And which leaf do you prefer? And while you're deciding, I'm going to put them right there. I'm going to get the rest of the card out. Which is, I'm looking for it shock which is it's a purple posy base huh. okay and I know there's a delay so I'm just going to continue until I see comments okay so I've already obviously cut and scored this this is purple posy five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and then you know me when it does that and I left it like this purposely so you could see it use your bone folder flatten that card out these are worth it totally okay I'm not gonna need that so let's set that aside what I did is I cut a piece of whisper white just plain so this piece is four and an eighth by five and three eighths now if you can glue really really well then it won't matter but I like to make things easy so I took a second piece and I embossed using, there we go, and there we go, using the painted texture 3D embossing folder. And uh, I, I, it's actually the same size and I cut a piece out of the center. So the top piece, everything, everything is going to go line to line, side to side here. So the top piece is uh, four and an eighth and then two and a half for the top piece and one and three quarters for the bottom piece. And the, the acetate, I think I called it vellum. The acetate will go here. Now on this one, as mentioned, I used the floral one and I thought I would just change things up a bit. So I actually put the this piece down first. So what you need for that is glue dots. And you take your pick tool. Got it. I was ready this time. Or was I? We'll see. Ah, oh, I see some votes coming in, so we'll take a look in a minute. All right. I did debate a little bit because, you know, purple and, and um, purples and um, gold look nice together, very regal, but I decided on the silver side. Is it just... It just struck my fancy, so to speak. Okay, so just in the four corners, and I'm just going to remind myself where this piece is going at the bottom. And we'll just tuck it right about there. So if I measured correctly, oh, it's a little bit bigger. It is a little bit bigger. Hmm, I do have my, I would like this to turn out <laughs> so really well. I don't want to have to deconstruct it like I sometimes do up the videos. I know I do. So I'm going to see if we can just take a little smidge off. Oh, and that's the one that does the, um, that one won't work. That's for making the score lines. Uh, you know what would have been good for this is my little, come on. Oh, we did get a piece. There it is. Okay. Yay. That's our trimmer. Okay, and I'm trying to be nice and quiet too. Okay, so let's glue this down as well. Any more votes before I get too far? And across the top. And you know I like to stand my cards up. Oop, wrong way. You know I like to stand my cards up when I'm putting bottom pieces or top pieces on. So there we go. Hold that in place. And then the top one. Did 
Did I just glue that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yep, I did. Did I just glue that? Yep. Stand it up. So much easier. Don't get glue on the card to do it standing. And then to get the glue off your fingers using your cloth that you have right beside you. Um, I'm going to show you these guys. The magic that happens. These guys die cut. There you go. Ah, oh, there we go. And there you go. So that's the difference. Then I'll keep going back. And I did get glue on the front. Well, that is an opportunity for an embellishment, isn't it? I am not forgetting the ribbon. Ha! Huh. <laughs> oh, this way. I wanted the smaller piece to the bottom. So I do have scissors. Not my real sharp ones, but I do have them. So we'll cut that. This is the gray granite shimmer ribbon. Shimmer ribbon? I could just read it. Gray granite. Shimmer ribbon. Yep. And you know, you know how, here's this one. I don't like lines like this, but I felt two lines of this was too, that was just too much. So I'm just doing one and getting the glue dots again. And I'll see if I can roll back the comments before they get too far. Uh, color paper, bone folders or shoulder? Yeah, now I can't see all the comments. I think, I think I saw more for the, the colored paper. Oh, too low, too low. And Janice likes the layout. Yep, you know what? It's, it's quick, it's easy. It's quicker when you're not on video, just so you know. And, uh, and it gives you a little glimpse in between. Now, another thing you could do, of course, is use that beautiful DSP and put that in between here. That would be very pretty. Let's glue that down because we still have time. All right. So, okay, so bone folders. I don't know. It depends if the bone folders are sold out, like if they're back ordered or if they're um, not orderable. Hopefully they're just back ordered because then you can still order them. Oh, which reminds me, my friends, I was doing our weekly updates on our team page when up popped this beautiful surprise that the one day um, online extravaganza has been extended for another day. And the reason for that is because there were so many technical difficulties that Stampin' Up! just set made a excellent excellent um choice to continue the sale for one more day yes so i have a post that will go up and mention that but just so you know you did not miss the sale because if you if and i'm, I'm sorry if you had problems ordering um i think it was they worked on it and worked and tried to get it all perfect you know stuff happens Okay, so anyway, I think we're going to go with this one. This one will also be a card. It'll look a lot like this, <laughs> but for now, we're just gonna set those aside. So we'll put this down. Now again, this is vellum for real this time, and I cut it using the um, Stitch So Sweetly dies, and this is the third largest. I've been getting a lot of use out of those die, those particular dies recently. Okay, so I know the flower, if I look at this one, the flower's going here. So I can put one right there. This will, oh, and this goes under here, so we're good. And this will hold itself in place. There. I can, by the way, and you can, slip this underneath, right under where the ribbon is, and no one unless it doesn't come off, no one will know, except us, because I just told you. Okay. Now, before I put this on, there's something missing, and it's Wink Estella. You know how you always say, wink, wink? <laughs> Guess what I brought with me? It's very pretty, but a little bit of Wink Estella, and I have two here, because I'm not sure which one's the empty one. I'm only putting it in this on this particular one, where the dark ink is, the darker ink. Now I did do this where I did um, balmy blue and then I did um, um, heat embossed silver on it 
and it was gorgeous but if you don't heat emboss this is a really nice alternative that you can just add a little bit of wing costella and if you miss a little bit no big deal just a little bit of shimmer and i don't know if you can see that on the camera i hope so but it just adds to it so nicely so so nicely and while we have this why don't we do this too little bit here and this is where you know just put it on like you're an artist we're all artists really when you think of it Ta-da! let that dry for a couple seconds so that's wink style that's the clear i think that's the only one we sell actually now the other thing i did is i wanted a sentiment obviously and as you notice this part's not covered so what i did is i heat embossed in silver a thank you and then cut it out with that die isn't that pretty and we're going to attach that while the Wink Estella dries a bit. It's kind of nice having a plan, doing it in a certain order. If I, if I think things out, it really works well. All right, so take the backs off those. And this is going to cover up that particular line. That's why I wasn't too concerned about right there. If it doesn't cover it up completely, that's okay. All righty, now bring in this card again. I think you can see them side by side. This is popped up, and that's what I'm going to do is add dimensionals. So I'm using the big ones. You can use small, but the big ones are, you know, it's quicker. And there we go. And there's one more thing, of course. Well, there's two things. We still need to do the inside of the card. We should do the inside for sure. I already took that one off. Okay, so I think, let's see how this looks. I love that. Good decision, ladies. Excellent, excellent decision, actually. Love it. Okay, now I'm going to glue this with Dumbo. Now, tell me you can see that glitter on there. I hope so. So quick and easy. I, I have been neglectful when it comes to my... Uh, Wink Estella, because it's just that nice little shimmer. It's not too much, it's just right. This is going to go over the ribbon, so I am going to hold it just for a little bit. Make sure it stays put. While I do that, get these guys out. I don't know if this is still the format these come in, because I've had these forever and ever. Stay. But... This is what we're going to do. I think I'm going to use the little guys. You can tell how I use them. I just cut. They're actually attached. If I was to take this off, it would be one, one long piece. So I can just take it and cut right in between and right in between. And that gives me plenty. So I'm curious, did anyone try to get into the sale today and have a problem? All right, where else can we put these? How about, oh, how about we do them kind of like the, the original card? Okay, maybe one there. And, oh yeah, this one had two, but we'll go a different direction because we're wild and crazy tonight. And here. Alrighty, let's do the inside. I keep going to take that card away. I don't know why. All right, so I don't remember if I used this one. I think I did. Oh, I did. I did, I did. Okay, and to protect. So we need to do the inside. So this is a piece of Whisper White, four and an eighth by five and three quarters. And if I haven't already said it, you know me. I don't type out the instructions or the, the measurements. They're all right here in the video. Now the video will go up onto YouTube, which means you can fast forward, etc., etc. All right, so make sure we're right on that stamp and pierce mat because it's photopolymer you want to put something underneath it is what i'm saying now if there's comments i can't see them because nothing's moving on my computer so i'm assuming that we're still working or i'm just talking to myself now, i'm going to go to this corner i am pressing reasonably hard these are different than red rubber where if you if you squish them down too hard they it makes kind of a, um, a mush 
and it doesn't really work out very well for you because you might get a halo or kind of a warped look and you don't want that. Okay, back with the, so that was Highland Heather and back with Gorgeous Grey. Alrighty, oh, let's go. Now I do see I have some ink there, so I'm going to be careful to, this is what I mean, you don't have to be exact with it. You can just go for it, basically, which I really like. All right, so those are closed. Yay. Make sure it's dry. And we don't need that. Make that go away. All right, and let's glue that inside and then see what we have. I'll show you the inside of the other one, too. So as mentioned, um, the blog to go with this card is already up. I will add the video to this after the uh, after the well it takes a little while to upload it to um, YouTube and then on to the blog. Well that's a quick part actually. Hey Valerie. Oh and your order went through no problem. That's good. That is good news Gail. There we go. I just think I'm not forgetting. Put the lid on keep it upside down. There they are. So different, different um, acetates in there. Um, both cards have shimmer. Both are thank yous. And here's the inside of this card. Oh, and I did put Wink Estella in there. Interesting. I also did opposite corners. There's no rhyme or reason to my brain. Seriously. Seriously. Anyway, all the important links um, I will put up in the... Um, um, description up above after the video and if you do wish to shop with me remember that 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 uh, online extravaganza extends till tomorrow at 11 59 tomorrow being I should say what tomorrow is November 25th at 11 59 p.m. mountain time that's important to know so there you go there you go. Oh, and you love the card. Thank you, Marcy. You're so sweet. Oh, thank you, Rosemary. All right, my friends. The links, the yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about that. Um, oh, one really quick thing. And I think it's on my blog. No, it isn't. I think it might be. Um, if you want this suite now, like the whole thing, kind of like I do, um, and would like the rest of the pieces, you can't get that till January the 5th. If you want these pieces, like these, these um, items, then join my team on December 1st. Put them into your starter kit. So for only $135, no shipping. Uh, and there's, there is tax in some provinces, but not Ontario. Um, you get to choose $165 in goodies. That means you could get this entire suite and still have money to spend. Awesome or what? <sighs> that was a mouthful. Anyway, if it's not on my blog, I'll put it on my blog. I will see you again next Tuesday at ooh, 8 p.m., let's say, the same time every week, 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Bye, my friends. I will see you uh, next week. Have a great evening.